Hey folks, how are y'all doing? In this video, I'm turning some skewers and stairs and walnut shells into some sailing ships. Let's get to the build. Some months ago, I came across to a walnut shell while walking outside. Under normal circumstances, you would step on them to hear the delightful crunching sound. This time I picked it up and immediately thought how I could turn it into a boat and did it without ever recording the process. Came across to more and saved them for this video. I guess it's a matter of cognitive thinking or imagination. Up until I was halfway done with these boats, I never imagined how other people would have thought of the same thing. Checked Pinterest and it turns out there are so many examples of other people making the same type of boats out of walnut shells. Anyway, it's still a cool idea and doesn't have to be reserved to me to make such a creation, obviously. Still, it's a really fun thing to build and I would highly suggest you give it a try. I might even challenge myself to build smaller into hazelnut shells or pistachio shells. Anyway, back to the build. There is really nothing all that complicated about making these. It's just completing the floor level with steering stick cuts is way too messy if you use CA glue like I do. Since walnut shell doesn't really soak in the excess CA glue, it drips down on your fingers a lot. I utilize my Dremel quite a bit while making these. Makes it so easy to even the sticking bits or smoothly rough glued sections. I forgot to add the bow spirit or whatever it's called and covered the deck on one of them. So I had to cut off sections from the chopstick and glue it onto the bow. I also find it a logical option to insert a small diameter stick into the chopstick to make it look more interesting to look at. There is only so much options to add to a ship model in this scale. But I kept adding bits here and there to make it look more ship-like. For the cabin, or rather quarters I suppose, I bent stick cuts into the rough shape of the back of the ship and kept adding more levels over it. Measuring the sticks accurately is close to impossible due to the asymmetrical form of the shell and the way I built the rest. So I glued stick cuts over it then trimmed the sides. I used the rounded ends of steering sticks to represent doors to the quarters. To add the masts, I used three different sizes of drilling bits to not break the deck boards. Then made the entire mast build using chopsticks, skewers and toothpick cuts. These boats are not supposed to be true to a scale, but look almost comical. So I added two masts on two of these boats, even though it wouldn't make much sense. I don't know anything about sailing or have very few knowledge about sailing ships. I'm sure there would be another handful of objects and details I could add, but I'll reserve that for future builds. I'm sure I'll be making more of these in the future as they are rather easy and fun to build. As for the sails, I used air drying clay. Got it as thin as possible before it started to tear open. Then tried to cover the masts with them. Although I had to glue these as they were too thin for me to stick them on the masts. Then 
Once the sails dried, I drilled holes on the top of the masts and other various spots to attach ropes. For the ropes, I used regular sewing thread. Looking at it now, it could have been a thread one size thicker, I suppose, in order for its paint job to look better, look more like rope, I suppose. A while ago I made cement coasters that I never painted, so I'm using this and two scrap wood pieces as dioma bases. To begin creating a baby C effect, I'm using diluted PVA glue and toilet paper. It's actually pretty straightforward and quite fun to make. You basically reshape toilet paper with PVA glue, try to create random wave-like shapes. Harder part is to make the wakes. Here I decided where each one of these two ships will be and then tried to create wakes as best as possible. Also, I realized that PVA glue tends to stretch down by give or take 10%. I noticed this after the glue dried, the spots for the ships got wider in diameter. While waiting for the PVA glue to dry, I started priming the ships with Valleho Grey Primer. After that, I primed the bases with black primer. The reason for the black choice is that the sea color is darker than wooden tones I planned for the ships. Next, I started painting the bases. For this, I made a mixture of black and royal blue colors. And added some green blue as the mixed color looked too dark to me. Once this paint mixture is diluted enough, I covered the bases as the first coat. For the second coat, I added more green blue in it. Then used green blue directly, dabbed it here and there, especially on the higher spots. Added a bit of um, white in the mixture and started to work on the wakes, tips of the waves and such. And finally touch the tips of the waves with white to complete the waves. In order to exaggerate this I applied black wash all over it. It could have been maybe a very very dark blue but I didn't really bother because it, you wouldn't see the difference. After the bases, I got back to the ships. Somewhere on the way, I painted each ship with a different tone of light wooden color. And painted each ship with lighter and darker tones of chocolate brown paint. Painted some spots with old wood and new wood colors to differentiate the wooden look a bit. Painted the sails with a beige-like mixture of color. Then decided different colors to decorate each ship's sails. For the biggest one, I chose dark vermilion color and painted an X-like shape on it. For the pair of ships that go on the round base, I decided on vertical stripes with royal purple. And for the last one, I painted horizontal stripes with amaranth thread. Used dark sand color for the ropes. Again, it would have looked better if the sewing thread was slightly thicker. Then with the same dark sand, I dry brushed and highlighted the edges. Covered them up with diluted smoke paint over two coats and got done with the ships. Went back on the bases and painted the sides a second time to fix paint mistakes. Should have maybe covered the side of this with a paste or clay to hide the grain surface of the wood. Added anti-slipping silicone bits under them. And applied acrylic varnish on the bases.
finally glued the ships to their designated spots with regular PVA glue and done with this build. Thank you for being here and watching this episode. I hope you liked it and find it somewhat inspiring or useful for you. I plan to keep one of these for myself and gifted the other two. I think this is a great gift idea, easy to make and appealing to look at. Anyway folks, let me know what you think down in the comments. In the next video I'm going back to building sci-fi stuff. Planning to make a Japanese mech and continue to my alternate history series. Take care and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.